you're giving me much trust. Okay, I will try to be up to the task. You all arrived in time to watch me try my hand again at a serious rising game, which as you I might know, my stream. isn't actually like water for a fish, I mean, <laughs> I will do my best. Uh, this time we're going with the one that is considered to be the best one probably among, uh, well, excluding possibly high resin, which requires a monthly subscription and I'm not yet paying for it. Maybe eventually I'll get to the point and, uh, well, hey Cody, yeah, thank you. Uh, as I said, as I said, today we're doing a set of course. What the hell is this sound? No, okay, just that he updated, made me scared for a second. Yeah, I'll just go like this, for just to warm up, then we go probably play online. Ah, but also I wanted to do something. No, wait, I have to start the game itself, one sec, because I want to remove all HUDs. This is something that I arrived uh, to the conclusion because uh, of my experiences with Project Cars and also Dirt Rally 2. Actually, I think it's very important when you're playing in VR to disable the HUD, because uh, uh, playing in VR you don't have the sort of field of view, FOV, that you have in real life. So every time you look at one of these uh, uh, indications, like your position in the race, the time, the lap times, uh, you're going to crash. 100% happened to me so many damn times that now I absolutely want to remove it, and I hope I can do it for here, because actually I suspect that the game wants you to do it in race. That also works, I mean, we can just go there and do it. Yeah, apparently so, apparently so. So keep everything like it is, it's just a test run. I want to disable the HUD. No, no, absolutely. Uh, I tried it uh, thoroughly with, um, what's his name, Dirt 2.0, the rally game. And the moment I disabled everything, uh, I mean really everything, like see only re real life, like you're really driving, then I started to drive a bit better, which is very important. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not the best driver, as you know. And uh, what else? Well, that's what I was saying. Yeah, that indeed, normally I would play Project Cars, but last time it didn't work for the stream. Uh, it even froze. I don't know why. Still trying to understand the reason. It was a horrible experience for me. I no longer used to have so many problems with streaming. In the beginning, yes, but now not absolutely. And, yeah, this should work, I hope. I already streamed this, but I already streamed the Project Cars as well. And I wanted to disable the HUD. Uh, let's see, I think you do it from the right in Project HUD. I will restart, probably the others will start while I do it. Uh, oh my god, this is so hella loud. High dots, perfect, actually. <laughs> Just go, I don't care, it's a practice run. Um, to center my view, ooh, but I'm running with automatic, really, no, 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 okay. Uh, to center my view, because it's absolutely not centered, I think I uh, No, okay, I know what happened. This game also lost often... No, but in theory, not from the joystick itself. Well, it's not... Ah, here it is! Ah, yeah, you press two buttons together, that was it. Okay, perfect. Where are we? It looks like Spa, Franco Sham. Not sure. Well, okay, it's a warming up. We'll see, we'll see. I'm driving a Ferrari, which I don't even remember. Probably it's the GT3 one. Let's see if I can, I can catch up with the guy. Isn't this cool? I hope the stream is running smooth. Actually, I have no way of knowing. I depend on you guys. Maybe I might ask Cody since you're already in the comments. Does it look good? Is it fluid? Last day, I only discovered through you, my watchers, that indeed, yeah, this is perfect, <laughs> perfect showing of driving. Uh, indeed, I was having some problems. It froze. Still don't know why. Though, yeah, let's restart. Okay, this is enough to make me restart even for a warm up. And not so, am I using assist of any kind because I suspect everything is off at the moment. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to see them without the HUD, and that will be possibly problematic. Okay, no problems. I will try to drive like I don't have assist, so it's freezing occasionally, but good graphics. Freezing occasionally, now you're worrying me. Well, in the uh, in general, it seems to be okay, you know. If you say good graphics, also yeah, the number of viewers is good. So I think you guys are watching the game that works correctly. Okay, no, no, I will go ahead. Let's hope everything works. But the number of viewers it should be working, and I will set my usual point. It might be my internet. Yeah, I suspect so because if it was frozen like the other day, it was completely frozen. I wouldn't have 44 of you watching me, and thank you for that, by the way, this is more than the usual. Because, yeah, I know this, people uh, love to watch driving games in VR, right? 
it is hella cool, in my opinion one of the best genres you can do with this technology. It is certainly a nice way to play. It could be my intent, okay, I will be distracted nonetheless if you guys type something, because yeah, as you can see, I can read you. But don't worry, I mean, type away, this is the point of the stream, I want to have a conversation, if I wanted to do a perfect race, I wouldn't be streaming it, wow! I would be recording a video of it, <laughs> and that's the reason not many people stream driving games, by the way. Ask, hello, hi to, to you as well. You see how free of distraction I am? Not hard, but of course, the chat has to stay there. Hello, man, you came to the beginning this time, not the end. I'm glad of seeing you. Let's see how it goes, eh? Does it look good on your side? I think so, I think so. No, the stream is working. I, I feel it in the air, so to speak. And well, yeah, from time to time I have to use this wheel, no? Uh, now you guys might not know it, if you watch Driving Games, uh, I usually stream flying games, but people also always see this wheel in front of me and they might wonder what the hell is it for if I don't play one of these. And as you, so, as you know, probably you do, all the Driving Games that support VR on the PC right now are of the very hard simulation type, depending, well, Project Cars is a bit easier, which is the reason it's my favorite. Dirt Rally is also a bit easier than this, in my opinion. You get penalties for crashing onto cars. Um, no, in general no. You get them if you cut the track immediately. Like it tells you to slow down and you lose a lot of time from it. Crashing into cars in general seems to be okay. Of course, uh, if you're playing online, you're trying not to do it unless uh, you're one of these guys. And one of these guys is usually like 80% uh, of the players of the game. As I will certainly demonstrate later once I go online for a race. I hope I can find one that is populated. I should, I should. This is a fairly popular game, but strangely enough, not as many people play online as they do in Project Cars. Project Cars, I have no trouble finding a race always. Here it depends. There is always one server that is heavily populated, which is the one uh, where they race uh, on the Nürburgring. They do the track day on the Nürburgring all day long, like 24-7 racing on the Nürburgring. It's kind of fun to do, but in the end you're not racing. I mean, I said racing, but you're just doing laps of the track. If you want a real race, it might be difficult, and we will see if I can manage to find one. I hope, I hope I can manage. Because it's the coolest way to play, certainly, especially in VR, you're completely immersed in it. A bit ruined, as I say, by the way in which people drive. That is a kind of peculiar way, to say the least. Yeah, these AI drivers aren't bad, huh? at least for me they are. Cool cars, though. That's an old car, what's it doing here? But several are old, in fact, mine isn't, I think. It's a good feel. Mm, the physics is better than Project Cars, absolutely. I don't know how the physics in the rain is here. Is in here. Does it have rain, this game? I don't even know that. But in uh, uh, Project Cars, rain is horrible, absolutely. Don't drive on the rain in Project Cars. Uh, the last time, yeah, it was uh, quite of an hellish stream. Not only for my technical problems, but also because I kept having uh, races on the rain. And in the game, the rain is completely undrivable. You have which car? I think it's the Ferrari 258, uh, is the number. The Ferrari they use in the GT3 races. Yeah, this is GT3 class. I can tell it by the rear view mirror, which I remember was a camera put there. Basically a GoPro <laughs> kind of like. It should be the Ferrari 250 something. The, the number is. <laughs> now you're really exposing my ignorance in the matter of cars. As if my ability in driving wasn't already enough to do it. Not even know how many laps we're doing of this. Okay, let's, I'll try to concentrate a bit because uh, the more I speak, the less I hear the engine and I keep uh, sw uh, shifting wrong. In fact, as you can see, it's that thing in any case, I think. That should be the same car as me. Or not. No, 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 I'm saying something stupid. No, that's um, a McLaren, I think. No, so not that. If I keep getting passed by guys, <laughs> the one that is the same as me, we probably arrive. I was on rear view cam. Yeah, isn't it cool? But the coolest thing is that you actually turn for it. No, but as I said, remove the HUD. Remove the HUD if you play in VR. This is as important as learning to recenter your view to check your six in flying ends. We keep making interesting discovery in this stream, in this uh, stream, by the way. 
and that's not <laughs> advertising really. Uh, it's the truth. Yesterday, playing with a friend in War Thunder, the flight simulator guy, we discovered, for example, well, he really knew it, but I never did it in VR, and it was a big discovery of mine for VR, that raising your view with a control when you're uh, on the six of an app and actually lets you aim tons better. And well, all this to tell that actually, yes, turning off the ad is just as important and also pertains to the same kind of problem, meaning the limited field of view. Yeah, the index headset, this one I'm using, has a fairly good field of view compared to most, but still it will never be like real life, meaning that uh, you need to eliminate everything to, to the borders of your field of view, or you will get distracted. If I had uh, a standing indicator there, I would have to turn every time. You cannot see it with the periphery of your, your eyes, and yeah, I would. I would turn, absolutely, because I'd be anxious about it. So, good thing I removed it. <laughs> At least uh, we will know in the end how much I sucked. But as long as it's the warm-up race, no problems. I hope I can get better by the time we enter the actual race online. I wonder how many lots I said. This is problematic, because, uh, yeah, they might be too many to justify doing the world race. Probably not. Probably not. I usually don't set them that high. I think I'm playing at uh, 80 Hz refresh only. I usually don't raise it further when I'm streaming, because streaming takes a lot of system resources. Ooh, I'm just streaming. And um, what was I saying? But, but, if you have the index, uh, you can set your refresh rate different values. Probably the higher you go for driving games, the better it is. This is what I was saying the other day when I started having problems. Because reprojection isn't as much of a problem, meaning reprojection... I'll explain again, the other time I had few viewers because the game was freezing. Uh, reprojection is that effect that Steam VR uses when you're not hitting your target frame rate, meaning that it has to intervene and generate the missing frames with that sort of interpolation technique. I don't, I don't actually know the, the theory behind it, but well, it makes the game look fluid even though it isn't. But what it does is it creates after images for things that move fast. And yeah, you think, of course, in a driving game, a lot of things move fast, but it's less of a problem because it looks like motion blur. Uh, whereas if you are instead uh, playing a flying game, what happens is that everything that is tiny and far, like other planes you're looking, and also the very aim inside you're trying to shoot down uh, with, uh, uh, well, they will you will see do two of them or even more than two, and that's horrible. So yeah, if you're playing a flying game, lower your refresh rate. If you're playing a driving game, it depends. I honestly wouldn't. Could even increase it again, even despite uh, we are streaming. Probably would still work. <laughs> we have a sign for DRS. Well, too bad I don't have DRS on this car. Or do I? No, I'm wondering. If I had it, it would be here on the trigger. No, apparently not. Also, did I set the handbrake correctly here? No, apparently. This is wrong. I need my handbrake <laughs> to do the drifting. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm glad of uh, sharing the kind of information I got from... Let me see how many... No, huh? that would have been too easy. I cannot activate uh, the HUD. Okay, so maybe the HUD would have been useful actually here. I have no way of knowing how long this thing is. So let's call the warm-up completed and go to an actual race, or at least try to... Actually, I improved my time on Spa with this play. 458 was the number of the Ferrari. I remember it was a number, you see? <laughs> I only said 200 instead of 4. And what the fuck is happening? Oh, I used a bad word. Yeah, but it's not clicking. Hmm. Uh, well, we can restart it. I mean, it's the same in the end, because this game uh, is using like a front-end to join the actual races. You're only in VR once you're playing, so it loads fast. This is what I mean. To join multiplayer, I usually do it from the game's own front end. If we want to do some single player races, which we might, uh, I'll do it from here. But look at this, actually, this external front end lets you also join online races. I just never did. And there seem to be plenty of players. But I'm used to seeing through, to see them through here. I'll do it here for the time being. Uh, two, 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 main menu and drive online, yeah. 
This is where I usually pick them. Populating server list. Hmm. Track rotation, French. 16, 24 people. 23, 24 public servers par. Q15M. I wish I knew what they mean. Discord, no scrap tourist. Vivaio Racing. I've been on that uh, on that server. I remember it. This is a server where they have actual races. Let's join. Vivaio Racing. I remember the name because it's in Italian. Uh, Vivaio is like a uh, nursery, so to speak. Meaning probably where you nurse the new pilots uh, <laughs> to the, uh, an adequate level of skill. I think we're racing with the same car. It's the 458 GT2, yeah. I just started quickly. I wanted to warm up. Now that we did it, I'll, t I'll pay more attention to the final detail. And okay, what are we doing? Th these are the several rules. Why is it off center? Ah, because it centers only one. Okay, the several rules are gone. <laughs> I wanted to read them, what the hell? Well, what can they be, I mean? Just pay attention to the other guys, don't crash into them, and so on, and so on. Next session, restart session. Another six time of qualification. Six minutes uh, qualification time, it seems. Uh, ah, yeah, not having the hard that can be annoying for some things, eh? No. I exited the server. Okay, no, no, but this has still... It, there, was still there was still some time I can rejoin. Uh, Vivaio, what the hell, I'm sorry guys, uh, stupid me, Vivaio Racing, yeah, I wanted to say return to the car, not return to the menu, <laughs> what happens when you speak while you, <laughs> you have to do actually complex things, and in this way I'll be able to read the server rules at least, Ferrari 458, what does it say? Ah, this is actually for a real championship that they're having, which begins on the 17th of April. Uh, oh, really, uh, you can uh, inscribe yourself... Uh, uh, what's the English word? Well, you can participate until the 13th of April. Endurance championship from the 19th. Well, okay, for now I believe it's uh, a practice session. And as I said, I don't want any hat there. No, watch out. <laughs> Return. Oh no, away with the HUD. But can you actually disable it in multiplayer? I wonder. Probably not that part. Because that's the pit, okay. The pit HUD. I think my pedals went a bit against the computer. Ooh. What's maximum speed in the pits? Good question. Now I want to know how long I have to qualify or whatever without a HUD. Who cares? I hear what I hear. Uh, no lines to cross or not cross. No, okay, you can just go here. This will be probably without assist. Uh, I better be careful with the throttle. Okay, this is Monza, right? I uh, I went read the name of the truck, but yeah, this is Monza, so we will have the chickens. What the heck? Why? Ah, he damaged the car. Like, how? <laughs> How, how delicate is this Ferrari? Yeah. Well, let me warm the tires first. Eh? I hope I have the time to warm the tires and also do a decent time. We'll soon discover. Now, historically, I always had some troubles with this kind, uh, with the chicanes of Monza. Yeah, because you see them late in the era, unfortunately. So unless you know the track really well, you, yeah, I tend to do this. And I got penalized, but now I'm no longer penalized, so let's re-enter. Having a couple of guys in front will probably uh, help me. But it's a problem that I've always had. In VR you see these chickens laid, unfortunately. Maybe it's the truth of things. On a screen usually I don't have such problem. Trying to get into concentration mode. At least now I have someone to follow. I, I didn't want a HUD, it seems I get a HUD nonetheless, because the thing appears constantly. Like every time I break. These are other players, eh? we best not crash into them. There's a chicane here. No, this is the big turn, yeah. It's a bit... Uh, <laughs> it's a bit silly to not know Monza well, me being an Italian, but yeah, actually, as I said, I learn as I go, trying to do my best. I think everyone is using the same car, which isn't bad. 
I guess. Just bet that it's the same car I was just driving. Might be good for practice because I did some practice with it. I think for a game they should start you with uh, already warmed up tires. Probably would be better. I mean, yeah, it's realistic, but. You're just penalizing the people that uh, connected to the server later. What's the appropriate gear for this chicane, I wonder? Probably the third gear, yeah, for this car. No, you can go second, second gear. No, before I started streaming, uh, I used to, to play like that, no? Playing games sometimes have very long downtimes, especially when you cannot find the enemy. You you end up flying the battlefield for like 20, 30 minutes and find no one. And then if you're not streaming, you start to feel a bit sleepy. It's it's quite annoying, really. I had an experience like that this morning where we were playing on a bigger map of War Thunder, the one over the English Channel. And well, you constantly see only sea under you. For a lot of time, you fly, you fly, you find nobody. And I was thinking, yeah, I, like hell, I'm doing this again. <laughs> this afternoon I want to go driving like I used to do. And well, it certainly works. It's actually much more tiresome to do for house because you have to stay always concentrated. And while, when in the planes, yeah, when you're doing combat, you're very concentrated. And yeah, I locked my wheels, but I'll be careful about it. With driving games, no, it's 100% all the time. And while streaming, if you're also speaking, you best... Uh, take a special care as I'm trying to do okay I see someone stopped by the truck what is he doing I thought he had stopped to maybe change his options but actually no he's driving maybe he had a crash and he's waiting to re-enter it's hard to, uh, to see there when they go low to the water indeed indeed well, at least War Thunder, you can see something. Sturmovik is terrible. If I went to Sturmovik this afternoon again, it would have been the same, 9, 9900% probability. What's it telling me? Well, I guess I actually need a hard for multiplayer, eh? because I lack information. I don't know how much time I have left and so on. Okay, this is probably the worst way to take this chicane of the forever. Maybe once I do some laps, I'll improve again. But I need a HUD. Mm. Clashing with the truth of things, really. For multiplayer. How can I know how long can we will be going still? Okay. Ah, well. No, I don't understand it. I'm doing a race. No, it doesn't make sense. Lap 37, position 1621. At least I'm not last. But what the heck are we doing then? <laughs> Isn't this a quali qualification? I started from the Godan Pits. Ah, okay. Case in point <laughs> to look at the HUD, <laughs> just as previously stated. And right behind the curve, I better remove myself uh, as quickly as possible. This is not qualification. What is this? Remove that blasted thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I don't know guys, I expected this to be the qualification, but it seems I have uh, a number of laps. Eh? Maybe you have a maximum number of laps before you qualify no matter what. Seven laps. Eh? Other people are active because I read the name of people that are doing things, yeah. Well, I mean, I expected this. Uh, what happens? Ah. Apparently I've been brought back. Eh? So, where is he? What's happening now? 15 minutes, countdown zero. No, no, it's all right. We're going to race right now. And how did I qualify? Well, I was still warming up the tires and trying to remember the track, but still, I'm not last. I mean, it could be worse. Actually, no, I'm 17th on 26th. Eh? Well, but that was the practice round, you know. This is the qualification round. Okay, so 15 minutes qualification. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, how do I insert myself? I think we have no collisions. But I best look nonetheless. Okay. Ah, oh, no, wait. Don't exaggerate the speed. 
I must know. Okay. So this is the qualification. It sounds good, sounds fun. Let's do it. I'll try, of course, not to crash into anyone. 51 people. Ah, yeah, this game has a lot of people on, on each server. It's pretty cool, actually. But this is, in general, probably, as I was saying, the best uh, driving game without a subscription uh, paying model. Meaning that, yes, uh, Project Cards uh, is easier to get going, but this, well, first of all, the physics is better, but also it has a lot of mod. Uh, I will show you towards the end of the stream, I hope, if you have the time, uh, the kind of mods I downloaded. They are incredibly cool. Yeah, I went straight, because I was pretty. Not the best beginning of my qualification round. Okay, it's just that the, the lap is invalidated. Okay. Uh, you see, it's difficult while speaking. No, I was saying, I might as well say, this lap is invalidated. We have 15 minutes to qualify in any case. What I was saying is, you have more mods here than in the most well-known moddable driving game, meaning Air Factor. This has way more, and some are amazing. Some are amazing, both in the cars and truck de uh, departments. I've known uh, several cool trucks for the first time, I've never seen in them in any game that really exist, that were modded into this. Well, they were modded pretty well. My god, that guy is doing worse than me. So you see, <laughs> the lack of talent is uh, well distributed. No, but you will see once we start the race. The race is a massacre, probably won't last that long. In the end, it's decided by how careful you are. If you manage to avoid all the crazy guys that try crashing into you on purpose, then you, you have a chance of actually ending up well. So, paradoxically, yeah, the more realistic the driving game is, uh, the less realistic is the kind of sportsmanship you're going to see into it. Because uh, you play, for instance, Gran Turismo on the PlayStation, yeah, you don't see that kind of, uh, of anger coming from the guys of this. It's crazy, really. They all uh, they all out for for blood. Yeah, I was sure I could break. No, I just can't do it. I don't know why. Uh, I got distracted. Okay, no. I don't think more of what I'm doing. I ended up one day uh, driving on Monza with uh, external view, actually, because I just can't see the Godan chicane approaching, even if he was breaking. Uh, maybe I'm just not careful. Wait, wait. Getting into the idea. This one is easier. The first one takes me by surprise. Every goddamn time, I guess. We're still, uh, we're still warming up the tires. Let's pretend it was intended, just to warm up the tires. And here I always understeer and put the car sideways. Okay, I can see that it will be a bit of a handful. Of course, uh, we have all the time to practice, and I hope improve before the race. Let me do one decent lap, one decent lap at least. After this one. So the traps are two. The first chicane, I miss it. The turn before here, I tend to understeer. Okay. It's not easy, huh? Not for me, at least. Almost feels like you're doing it for real. Okay. Maybe go a bit slower instead of crapping the entire lap <laughs> again. So, the first chicane after the straightaway, yeah? This time I won't have anyone to guide me. Which makes it a bit harder. But they saw in turns, yeah. It's over there. Break. What do you say? They break too late? No, actually, I break too soon. Well, at least I won't go straight. Ah, but the signs are pretty good for telling the distance, yeah. If you look at the signs over there, you can't tell. You're trying to block people, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I'm not trying to block Cody. <laughs> Maybe it will happen if I do mistake. Okay, yeah, you can go fast, no problems. The second chicane I tend to see on time. 
Ah, I'm not understanding this time, it seems. Ah, but okay, uh, the signs tell you very easily. You just look at the signs, the arrows. How could I never <laughs> actually take notice of it? I tried the uh, Assetto Corsa competition, I remember it started with, uh, uh, with Monza, there was this trial race, I did it like uh, 10 times, every time I went straight at the chicane. Just something that has always been difficult for me in my entire driving game career, for some reason or other. And yeah, speaking of Assetto Corsa competition, don't play that, play this one, it's 10 times better. You have, well, first of all, much many more cars and trucks. Uh, uh, but also, it, wa it runs uh, better. Maybe the driving model there is more advanced, I don't know, but the actual graphics of it are much lighter and it doesn't look, uh, doesn't look worse for it, at least in my opinion. Uh, Competizione is also very badly op optimi optimized for VR. So yeah, I ended up refining it actually. Not really playable in VR, in my opinion runs pretty badly. Plus you have this, I mean it's the same thing but with more cars. <laughs> That's just the truth of it. Moddable and all that. <laughs> maybe maybe if you tried it really and you played it for longer than me you will feel differently. But the reviews that I read on Steam seem to be to agree. Okay. The first decent lap, well decent, kinda decent is there. Let's come to the chicane again. By looking at the signs this time, why is it stopped there? Do we, are we almost over? No, I don't think. It was 15 minutes qualification, eh? Okay. Maybe I, I shut <laughs> up one sec <laughs> and try to do the actual lap. And here comes the chicane, yeah. No, in fact, you look at the arrows, you don't look at the track, because you don't see it if you do. Too bad I tried a bit too much. I tried too hard, yeah? I'm such a tryhard. <laughs> now, watch out, don't understeer me here. Going a bit faster now. I hope I don't pay the price for it. My friend that often plays uh, driving games uh, and also taught me about the removal of the hand uh, always tells me that I go too analogic with my brake and accelerator, meaning that I should be more gradual in changes I make to the throttle and braking speed of the car. And I believe that's true, but also it's a bit because of my, of my pedals, which are unfortunately pedals for driving uh, for flying games. Meaning that the one uh, that came with the G29 wheel, well, they're kind of difficult to mount every time. For the super reason that Logitech had to put the plug of the things under the wheel. So you actually have to screw it from the setup, from the rig where I'm sitting, every single time. And well, after a while you end up uh, bored with it. And also it tends to cause problems, you know, every time you do it, you end up having problems. Black car is coming, I think it was the one in front of me during the practice round, the McLaren. Let's try to break a bit later here. Huh? Uh, yeah, maybe like this. It's a second gear turn, I only have to remember that. Yeah, that's it, second gear turn. Then another mistake I make is I decelerate uh, too suddenly on the long, the long curves we have here by understeering because of it. So other chicane, other second gear, and I'll be okay. Yeah, that's it. Here, don't decelerate too much. Uh, but actually, yeah, I should have decelerated a bit more. Still, come on, come on. Doesn't matter. This is probably another second gear turn. Well, maybe good people can make it in third. I'll try it next round. Next lap, I mean. And yes. Big straightaway. And you have another curve after the. Yeah, but I break too soon. Well, I mean, as long as I don't crash. 
Now, as I said, this can actually be enough to come, uh, to come at the end of the race at a decent standing, as long as you can avoid the crazy <laughs> madmen that try to push you off the track, and that will be the main challenge, of course. Like every time I play these games, really. Oh, watch out! Uh, well, okay, it's not like we're having the race now, man. <laughs> I guess he wants to race this guy. Yeah, look at him. He could easily pass me. No, uh, typical behavior, really. Look at this. Yeah, go, go. You want to go, go. What the fuck? You better let them pass, huh? They're going to crash into you otherwise. Seems to be good, though. Let's see if I can catch him again. was catching my draft, if you know what I mean. <laughs> catching my drift, no, catching my draft. What am I, a vacuum uh, cleaner sucking air for you? <laughs> ah, I'm getting past, okay. We'll see, we'll see, maybe we'll make it more interesting. Yeah, this guy is not doing the chicken, I bet you're <laughs> gaining on me. At least his lap won't count. <laughs> I wonder if on the display there I can see my times. Probably yes. And I think you can even bind some controls to be able and look at the times that you did previously, but unfortunately I don't remember how. It's a shame you don't see the player names though. Huh? That's something you lose without the hand. To know who is doing what and which. Oh, I went straight. Uh, again, I was looking at the chat at the wrong moment. I I do the same mistakes I'm trying to teach about. <laughs> the problem is, you watch up there and yeah, you, you go straight at the top. And they cannot remove that, of course. It's the whole point of the stream to read what you guys tell me. Hi Nix, looking good. It seems the stream is working today. This is a different game, eh? a set of courts. In fact, yeah, the sound is better. It's a game from an Italian company, by the way, which has case in point an Italian name. And it's pretty hella good, as you can see. Uh, I was playing it uh, some time ago. It was one of the first games I streamed, I think, because I always found it to be so incredibly cool in VR. We're playing online, but still doing qualifications. Everyone seems to be faster than me as usual, but you never know. In the race, there are many factors. We, we could almost call them the air factor. <laughs> Another pass. I know, man. I know, I know. Maybe I'll catch him. But many of these guys aren't even doing the chicanes. They just go straight. I don't know what they intend to do with this qualification round. <laughs> don't point at it. Don't point at it. I will feel uh, <laughs> self-conscious. No, no, I'll improve. You will see, you will see. Who knows? Oops, I did one big mistake. And yeah, let's correct it. No, don't worry, man. Uh, I have to correct the big mistake, meaning that I'm quite hot, to tell you the truth. I have to open the window by getting out of the Ferrari one sec. Yeah, as you can see, very easily done in VR. You get out of the car and you open the windows, so sits just outside the car. How's that? Yeah, I have no head, that's typical also of VR. And get back to the driving seat. This will make me go faster because I will feel the air coming from the window just like I'm driving fast. And so, of course, Okay, first gear. What's happening with the wheel? Ah, okay. What's happening is my wheel turns... Ah, you see shit from in there, actually. I decide to use the rear view mirror. Okay, clear. Oh, watch out. Easy now. Yes, much better. Now I will drive well. I know it for a fact. <laughs> Wishful thinking on my part, maybe. 200 meters, okay. Oh, 
Ok. Ok. Well, this lap is certainly not counting. Can we qualify now? Eh, eh, no, no, but you're going to qualify nonetheless. Uh, qualification meaning uh, to decide your starting point. Actually, it will be important, I think, because uh, we spotted earlier that there are like 50 people in this, uh, in this server. So, to start last uh, will probably inhibit uh, your possibilities uh, of uh, having a good standing and then quite a bit. Here comes Black Car Guy. Black Car Guy. Uh, why is he accelerating so much better than me? It's not like he... Okay. Well, in fact, I don't know what he's doing now. He seems to have slowed down on purpose. Let's do a good one after the previous uh, horrible show. Second gear is how I'm gonna do the shit. Yeah, you see why they pass me. You see how they do the chicken. <laughs> I bet they pass me. <laughs> he went straight. They will get uh, disqualified for this in the race. Or they will have to do the stop and go and so on. It was 15 minutes qualification. Eh? It mustn't be much longer right now. Yeah, still with me. And uh, no, I did it again. It's difficult. That's the truth of it. The chicane of Monza are difficult uh, for as long as you know that they're there, they're still difficult. The first one, especially. Okay. Ah, okay, we're done. Ah, okay, so we're doing to the race. Well, I don't see myself in the last positions. I guess the only good lap I did was good enough to be actually 15th. Look at that, I mean, if you are a really good driver, it will look horrible to you, but still. 26 people are still online. So I start middle of the, of the pack, and now you will see the kind of carnage that the race of Assetto could say. Now, if I were a serious racer, that would make me angry. Sometimes it's frustrating, but actually I can have fun with that. Eh? We'll see what happens. First lap, uh, first turn, you bet half of the guys will end up crashing into something or someone. Very, very likely. And go. Okay, middle of the park. I mean, in practice, I'm like in between the hammer and the anvil because probably no one will break at the first golden chicane. Yeah, case in point. Well, this is even worse than I imagined, but let's pretend it never happened, because it had to happen nonetheless. Unfortunately, since I had the worst of it, yeah, I hoped it didn't happen, but it did. And they will crash again on the next chicken, so we will probably catch up again. They will crash again at the next uh, turn. They will crash at the next chicken. They will crash even on the straightaway. They will crash while going to the pits. That's just the truth of a set of course online racing. I've heard the... Uh, I racing is a bit better, but still, I mean, let's do our best and see what happens. I don't know the number of lives, not that it really matters. Yeah, the number of lives you have left matters, like you're some sort of cat, actually. Nine lives is what you have, <laughs> in the best uh, possibilities. Ouch, indeed, you can't say that again. Unos simulazioni. Simulazioni is actually the Italian word for simulations, plural. So not much fantasy there. Eni is a famous energy company in Italy. It sells uh, the gas uh, for uh, uh, the final cast. How's the wording? I don't know. Well, basically to use house heating. This is what I mean. He's also a producer of uh, car fuel. That's the reason he's sponsoring races, I guess. All very accurate and correct. Well, the company is from Italy after all. Since they like bow to the track for this one race. It's actually easier to not do mistakes when you have people in front. You see what they do and you follow from there. I, sh I won't miss the chicane here, for instance, unless, uh, unless <laughs> they go straight at the chicane. <laughs> we will see.
No, no, this guy is not driving in a correct manner. Actually, even a bit better than me. Maybe not that yellow and red guy. Come on. <coughs> it seems I'm not last. That's already half of an achievement for me. <laughs> let's keep going. Let's keep going. Well, I mean, I mean, they pushed me off the track at the first turn. Uh, More or less, doing my best. I harbor no illusions about my final, final position, but I'm still in the race, which is good nonetheless. Shift fast while breaking around the corners, maybe shift down. Ah, you mean to break by downshifting? It could work better, I think, yeah, for the quick ones. I'm a bit afraid of doing it, though, because, uh, yeah, I'm, I want to slow down a bit more. Yeah, this was a decent remake turn, I think. This is how you're meant to take it, by going on the... Uh, what's the name of the... Only the Italian work on sorry, the I cordoli, I mean the things that are on the border of the track. Well, I don't remember the word. Okay, break too soon, too soon, but better too soon than too late. At least I noticed my mistake, you see. I do still do them, but I guess. I agree with Cody, okay. So you're saying downshift while doing the turn? I'll try, eh? I'll try. <laughs> Quickly, though. Like uh, downshifting once or twice to slow down, like so. Ah, but it doesn't let you do it. You have uh, downshifting protection because actually, this kind of engines, I don't think they would make you slow down if you did that. They would make you. Yeah, this was horrible, guys. <laughs> I won't listen to you anymore. <laughs> no, it doesn't break you. Uh, it, it goes into protection mode. You saw that yellow sign over there. Uh, it's protecting the engine because otherwise you'd blow it. Actually, in Air Factor 2, you can blow it before turn. Ah, okay, okay. Before turn, like this. Ooh! <laughs> my bad. No, 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 I was joking. It's not your bad, it's my bad. Of course it is. Yeah, in any case, to come out of the turn to downshift like that is actually quite uh, efficient. This guy, I think, crashed. Ah, actually, they just crashed. Look at that. I'm being a bit crazy at the moment. He's driving out of the track. Okay, inverted. They probably crashed into one another. And that's one position gain for us. And probably I'll catch the other guy as well. What do you say? It's possible. I did this in third gear. Yeah, by going on the the side of the yeah more or less it kind of works someone's gaining on me though perfect yeah let's use other people's mistakes to improve our standings and did he judge the turn better than me yeah of course he did so it's a tiered gear turn don't under shift on me don't under steer me Ooh, I was understeering one sec. That would have been the end of my race. At least I didn't do that. And... I might as well go first gear for this. Probably it lets you accelerate better, actually, out of it. The day I learned to actually drive in this game, it will probably be by instinct. I just uh, don't understand the strategy of it. Like, uh, you speak uh, to me about... Yeah, and I think it shows. Yeah, I got penalized. Damn it. Uh, you speak to me about driving lines... Uh, uh, down force, all that, uh, I, I just not understand. It's my biggest limitation with driving games, and all games in general. So, for a flying combat game, in the end, I learned by doing. 
And I keep thinking that maybe if I insist, I will learn driving games as well. But it's like I've been trying for 15 years by now, <laughs> so it won't happen anytime soon. And I mean, let's keep going and see what happens. I don't know how many, how many lots are left. No way of knowing it, unfortunately, without a HUD. So yeah, in online, maybe keep the HUD. <laughs> My suggestion from before was more for the single player. At least I won't get penalized here. Yeah, I'm losing a bit of my concentration. I must not be overtaken by these two guys as well. Uh, I can clearly see them in the rear view mirror. So we set the third gear for this one. Are you using brake when downshift uh, or just downshifting? No, no, I brake too. And otherwise it doesn't downshift, it goes into production mode. It does it, because otherwise you would brake the car, 100%. I know it from Air Factor, where actually you don't tap downshift protection. And well, it's hella easy to, to blow up the engine. I think it's realistic, I think it's realistic. I saw the other day, I saw the other day a reality show in Italy that they had where uh, there was this uh, normal girl that had to learn to drive these cars during uh, uh, during a championship, they actually intended to make the normal girl participate in the championship. And well, it was pretty good. She was pretty good at driving, but basically they never managed to enter her into the championship because we constant. She broke more than one engine just because of that. She downshifted too soon. Downshifting is actually very dangerous in this car, and it's also represented in the other simulator, uh, Air Factor, Air Factor Two. I have trouble to even complete a race without blowing up the engine. That's the extent of danger it is to downshift this kind of cars. Maybe I'll show you later in the stream. It's actually quite interesting because I don't think there are other driving games that uh, really model it. It's something that I've seen happen only on that game. Any. Bless me, any. I think I do this turn a bit too fast. Let's slow down further. No, I understeer. I did it. In the end, I did it. And yeah, I have to let him pass. And in the end, it had to happen. The big race ending mistake. So I guess I might be last now, except for the guys that broke their car or <laughs> disqualified for a reason or another. What the hell? Eh, uh, well, <laughs> the dream is over. <laughs> Uh, the dream is over. How many more laps? I mean, since the race is ruined, we best know. Five or seven. No, actually, I'm 17 and 21. Yeah, you know what? I might keep the HUD active. <laughs> After all, I was missing it. No, I'm not last. Never mind that. 17th. What the heck? My eye is itching right now. <laughs> Don't do it, I. Okay, so it's the penultimate lap. Good, because I'm starting to feel the heat. <laughs> like I said, like I said, the hardest thing for me is to keep concentration till the end of the race. Oh, it looks like my bumper is damaged a bit. Yeah, so, uh, the hot thing. It's certainly true in principle, but if you're driving in online, you will want it in the end. No, keep it. For the online, I will keep it. For the single player, disable it. Well, I, I just discovered through it that I'm not last, so <laughs> could be worse, no? <laughs> Penultimate lap. I can take it for another two laps. More like one and a half. Except that I went under steering again. And yeah, another guy has passed me. Uh, hey Dennis, hi, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, wel welcome to the comments, most of all. Now, this is the Valve Index headset. Uh, it's the one from Valve. It's actually a very good headset. Uh, I used to have the first Oculus, and that's also good, but of course now it's first generation. A bit, uh, oh. Okay, best let him pass, because now I bumped him. Okay, I bumped him again. 
Okay, well, I'm sorry. And the other guy bumped me, so now I feel less sorry. Well, of course, the more positions you lose, the more you end up among these guys. Let's call them these guys and leave it at that. Uh, is it good? Uh, yeah, the resolution is good and also the refresh rate is very good, most of all. You can actually increase it uh, way more than what I'm doing. I'm keeping it low because while streaming you need all the system resources you can get. Uh, but, uh, as I said, if playing without streaming you can go up to 144 Hz, like a gaming monitor basically. And yeah, for driving games, if you have the PC that can uh, render them properly, it's actually very cool. What did he do? He stopped. That guy stopped, like one lap from the end. What is that? I guess I have like uh, seven, eight people that did worse than me, no? I mean, one has to take his satisfaction where, <laughs> where he can. Ah, the, we're starting to see the clowns here, I think. <laughs> yeah. They're just trying to catch guys while they do their last lap, I guess. And yeah, I'm not even racing against this guy. Probably he's, uh, he's one lap ahead, or he finished this race in either case. Well, you have to consider I was also pushed off the track at the beginning, but yeah, I did a couple of terrible mistakes. The understeering, I mean, is really ruined my race, or what semblance of race I still had. Ah, it's over. Okay, it's over because the time ended. But I was ranked. Uh, where am I? I'm not last. I don't see myself. What was I ranked? First. No, that's impossible. I got 43 points. Where do I see my standing? Zarlok, ma sei coglione? Ah! Dio, ah, Dio cane, anche gli italiani adesso si mettono a fare ste cagate. Ah, uh, scusa, errore mio. <laughs> okay, I, I seem to find out recently that, yeah, Italians are take games very seriously. Maybe I'm uncommon among them. It was the same experience that I, that I lived uh, with the shooting game that I was playing this Sunday. But, well, I mean... I apologize. Let's go, let's go to a different server because I don't want to do the exact same thing. I will do public server spa, 22, 24 clients. This is still GT3 though. Is everyone raising GT3 in this game? North Cliff, this is uh, the track day. Well, actually I wouldn't dislike it to play the track day on the Nürburgring. Which car are free? Alfa Romeo Giulia, that's the only one. I am looking to upgrade. Well, if you went from the Oculus to this, uh, you will be doing the same upgrade I did. And uh, let me tell you, it's absolutely worth it. Like night and day. Very recommended, very. Uh, basically, it's got the same strong points, uh, meaning the fact that you have a wider, wi uh, a wider sweet spot, uh, a slightly higher field of view. And you can see edge to edge in the lens, no? You don't have blurriness on the lens uh, border, so it's like the Oculus. But then you have also the increased resolution where um, image clarity is completely different, much, much better. Why cannot I join that server? These are having a race, race, race. Spa track day, Discord, Misma. Easy 24-7, I like that, easy. <laughs> easy come, easy go. We can use the, well, among these, uh, Lotus Exige, Mazda Miata, Toyota GT86. That's the initial D car, which of course someone selected because it's hella popular. But I would go with the Nissan GTR. I mean, what are we doing here? He convinced me to get the VR. Lily, Cody, haha. <laughs> what does Mio mean? Mio means mine. Uh, well, he basically got a bit angry that I bumped into him. And he got surprised that an Italian was doing it. How could he tell I was Italian? No idea. Well, I apologize. It's not like uh, no one else did it to me. No, it happens, man. <laughs> it was my mistake, so of course I apologize. No need to flame guys, besides. Uh, a bit like the experience this Sunday. This Sunday was a bit more annoying. Eh? I won't say the name of the guy, but that guy uh, really 
well, use a pretty strong tense to vent his frustration. Uh, I guess it makes sense. If you take the game seriously and play it every day, every night, someone like me, that is mostly a gamer that likes to go from title to title, might annoy you for the kind of mistakes that I do. Uh, it's, understandable. it's understandable. I'm not getting angry at these guys. And maybe the choice of language of past Sunday, well, that is not very understandable in my opinion. It is possible that if we was using voice chat with this guy today, I would have had the same experience. I don't know. This is Pa. I love this curve. Look at the curve here. This is one of the most famous curve in modern model racing, I think. But then the Nissan GTR, no less. And this is an hello car. Okay, no, but you see, it's normal. I mean, what the heck was he doing? <laughs> it's normal. It's what they do. <laughs> Nissan GTR it is. I don't think this is a race, though. Yeah, it's fact. It's just a track day. Well, let's do some, some, uh, some laps to see how, where I classify, and then I guess we're doing something different. But I will have to relearn the track first because, as you see, I absolutely don't know it. First lap is not counting. I'm still warming up the tires, nonetheless. Toxic drivers. Yeah, no, but. I mean, it could be, sometimes it's intentional, sometimes it isn't, but in my opinion, as long as you don't take it personally, you can do anything. The problem is when people get angry at others. I mean, it has to be a game in the end. If you're leaving it as a, the kind of experience that makes you angry, maybe it's best for you to change gender. I actually had to do it, it might surprise you. Now I'm a pretty chill person, but when I played the Battle Royals, well, I wasn't that much, and after a while I noticed that uh, they were really hurting me. They made me become different in the way I approached the game. You know what I'm speaking about? Well, mostly PUBG. PUBG is the game that made me constantly angry. So now I keep well away from it. Not because I dislike it. Uh. Actually, it's a very cool game, but it tends to put you into a mindset, a mindset that where uh, wherever someone wins, he somehow cheated you. And well, if you play with friends, uh, Basically, they're no longer your friends. They become uh, like the dead weight that threatens to ruin your performance. And well, it's a bad experience, really. Doesn't work well for me. Then, good thing I got into simulators again, because I can do this much more with an easy demeanor, so to say. It's demeanor the collect world, I hope. Then, from time to time, you discover. And actually, it was a surprise for me. Sunday, you discover that people, you know, some people actually take these games in the same manner, meaning something to get angry at. But well, there's all sorts of folks. You also discover it easily while streaming because of the fun letters we constantly get. True, isn't that Nix? He knows it very well, just like me. You get many fun letters while streaming. I just started it for the passion that I have in VR and the desire I had of sharing it. But I discovered that even having a passion publicly somehow angers people. <laughs> and they tend to, to really vent their anger at you. They like doing it. So, well, okay, I guess it's part of the experience. And now I've learned to accept it. At first it hurt me. Because, like, I'm doing something for free, no? But it's supposed to provide fun or entertainment for people. Why do you have to be angry at me? What am I doing to you that makes you feel uh, belittled somehow? Because it seems it's like that. But I digress, I digress, I tend to digress while, uh, while doing driving games. Probably because it reminds me of just driving instead of doing a race. Ooh, they crash into one another. Yeah, and case in point, he's going to crash into him on purpose again. You can bet on it. No, actually, he preferred to come after me. <laughs> he just had to show me. I got called stupid by a player who doesn't even play simulator and even sucks at arcade. Ah, yeah, yeah, I followed that little debacle. Well, I call it little, but it's mostly an euphemism. But yeah, actually, it's the same experience as the guy that was uh, tagging it on me on my stream. Well, actually, he was speaking to Kart the other day when he shared my stream. And he said, no, but I stream War Thunder. And I know that you guys suck. Then we went and checked, and he had like 30 viewers. OK, you stream War Thunder. Good for you, I guess. The same thing with everything. You, the more people you manage uh, 
to involve in what you're doing, the more bad apples, so to speak, come with it. Ah, you see, actually, the engine flashes red when you downshift too much here. Look at this, I'm 11th, and someone disconnected, okay. So my time isn't that bad, that terribly bad. I like this track more, actually, I always suck that uh, Moonza. I don't know why, I just have bad synergy with that one track. Yeah, I'm constantly going into protection mode of the engine. If this were Air Factor 2, I would have broken the car already. That's the ease with which it can happen. I don't know if you can disable the function here, actually, I'm not sure. Every time it beats, basically, I was downshifting too soon. I see a lot of clean driving on this server. <laughs> Very clean, indeed. A red flash means over rev. Yeah, indeed, indeed. So it means that basically you risk breaking the car. And I did it again. Main problem with these pedals that are not driving pedals, but should be for planes, is that they're hella hard to push. After a while, you do a driving hands with this, uh, your ankle starts to hurt. And in fact, it's starting to hurt for me. <laughs> strange, strange. Maybe because I put so much uh, energy in it today. I'm really trying to do better than usual. But yeah, I try to do it also in the game that mostly has, al has always given me trouble. So take it as it is. I'm doing my best. That's the idea of the stream. Actually, I gained another spot in terms of times, but we will never have a race here. So it's kind of pointless. I mean, let's go see some other server. I will stop by the side of the road, yeah. Maybe not the cleanest way to stop, but it's not like we have to fix the car ourselves. It's just a game. Okay. What's the Audi TT, right? Look like it. What the Audi R8? Ah, yeah, I had some strange bug here. When I get out of the server, it doesn't click anymore. Or maybe just for the screen. How annoying. How annoying indeed. Uh, restart the game, not that it takes much. I will use this as well now. Huh? But let's try to choose a, a match from here. It should work actually. Maybe we show even more servers. I have to reduce the size of the fonts. I made it so big for a reason. Uh, the reason being that um, SteamVR used to show the desktop very small and you couldn't read it unless you put it like this, but now there is no reason for it. If only I could find the option. Language and regional. Content, general appearance probably. Yeah, here it is. Put it back at 100%. It will be good enough. Better. So, back here. Ooh, I lost priority on my overlay and back and yeah North Cliff a tourist doing practice but no race uh, practice Bavarian Peaks I like the name of the server this is doing qualification French track rotation on Monza ended the qualifier can I still join I mean if I start last it's no problem S yeah we will be doing uh, Moons again, but with a different car. No, wait, I lost it. This one. An M3. No, it's in race. Yeah, it had just ended. I almost was in time. Uh, practice North Sleeve, a realistic track day. Ah, here is the track day. I was wondering where it was. Is this ordered by the number of players? I wonder. Bavarian Pixie is password protected. Quick, uh, quick, cuckoo, cool, P. P means practice. R means race. They're already in a race, already in a race. Race. Well, it seems there's no game open. Let's do some single player and then we go back at that. I show you some of my cool mods that I spoke about earlier. We're going, we're going on. So I won't annoy other tryhards <laughs> like the previous uh, experience. No, but I say tryhard. No, he was right to tell me that. Uh, so these are divided by tags here. Let me remember how it works. No, but you, you see how many tracks I have. I downloaded most of them. 
even up the Isle of Man track, yeah, the one that they race the motorcycles in, not that crazy race. But let's do something unusual and cool. I really love this one. If you don't know it, download it absolutely. I already shown it on stream. But let's do it again because it's so cool. It's a German track that is a bit like what's happening here? It's a bit like the Nurbung, meaning that it's a normal road where people race on. There's something very strange with the display of the desktop or that of the app. So we make our lives a bit harder to select a car. Let's go by tags. Yeah, you see what's doing. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, let's try to close and reopen the app. Maybe it happened because I changed uh, the settings. This is named Assetto Corsa Content Manager. It's very useful. You can even use it uh, to go and download content. Uh, it has uh, links to the various websites and downloads it automatically. Yeah, this is... No does the same there's a bug of some kind and uh, well I guess we won't be using it for long track day has 14 cars what does he mean track day uh, no but like this it's unusable we're gonna have to go back to the game I guess I have a bug of some kind okay start a set of words how annoying guys I'm sorry wasn't expected uh, I haven't used it in a while I guess it needs an update maybe Okay, never mind. So, like I said, modded tracks. I hope I can do it from here, but I think so. Drive. I wanted to do Feld. What was the name again? Feldbengring. Yeah. And let's use. Uh, Historic car. Ah, historic car has only one car. Well, it's not a bad car. Ferrari 330p. Uh, single seater, small sports. Single seater, what is that? Shall we use uh, an open wheel car? Why not? Just for change. I actually downloaded some. This is an F1. I'm not sure. Ah, these are the opponents. Okay, now I need to choose my car first. So, like I was doing. Single seater. Pick one of these. I want to see how it performs. Felben wing. Opponents. Yeah, you clear all and choose opponents from the same class, which would be this. Maybe this also can compete. Yeah. Maximum number. No, it will run badly. Let's say 20 opponents. So, like this, with the Dallara single seater car. I think it's an F1. It looks like one. Uh, two, two, two. I have some stability control here. Well, maybe for this car it's better to keep it on. Hmm. Difficulty 98%. Well, it's a bit too much. Let's go. 85. 86. Uh, which session are we doing? Probably straight race. Grid, optimum, random, six laps. Six laps race. No, this is a very long race. A very long track. Let's do it. Uh, three will probably be enough. Start. Okay. And let's see what I cooked. Huh? I hope it turns out interesting. This is a downloaded car, for instance. It wasn't in the game originally. And also the track is downloaded, so it will be a short diversion to show uh, the kind of, uh, of mods the game has. One of the main reasons that make it more interesting than other games. Try to racing because it's single player, we don't care. Yeah, as you see, well, it's modeled pretty well for being a player made actually. Fairly satisfying car. Let's do it. Predictably short gear ratios. Wow. It's a bit crazy to race Formula Once <laughs> on this one track actually. Well, I wanted to do something crazy.
<laughs> on cobblestone. <laughs> well, okay, it's not crazy. It's ridiculous. That's what it is. <laughs> I might be interested. Looks like the ship from a movie, even. And the feeling of speed is immense in VR. You know what? I might raise the refresh rate for this. Let's go 120. I don't know if it will make a difference for you watching, but for me playing it certainly will. I'll tell you, I'll try to convey the kind of result. Where is the mouse pointer? Ah, he went on the other side of the... Okay, now he's back. And wait one. Ooh, maybe don't do it before a turn. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's better. You can see that I'm in the orange now. In terms of performance, that is not good. Probably it's a bit too much with this number of cars. But still, like I said, it's not so bad. It's an intriguing race on the road like this with a Formula One. Oh! <laughs> No, so even the the AI does it, you see, it's the name of the game, even the AI pushes you off the road. They're just unable to avoid you, it seems, yeah, now it's keeping me. <laughs> okay, restart. Well, but he really, he was a murderer. He came crashing into me. Good thing this time we can restart. Yeah, and maybe I go back one notch. 120 is a bit too much, I'll put it in the middle, meaning 90. Lost the mouse pointer again, but now I know where it is. Oh yeah, no hard here. I mean, why would I need it? I'm single player. <laughs> ah, isn't this cool? I love it. The problem is that the AI is even more aggressive on downloaded tracks because it tends to adapt to them, follows a very precise driving line and doesn't care what's on the line. If you, if you cut them, they're gonna crash into you with no mercy, like I promptly shown last time. Yeah, but now, well, that was unavoidable. I think I'm... Uh, without damage here, because otherwise I would have broken the car, for sure. The first time you do something like this in VR, you discover an entire new world. Basically, you no longer want to go back. It's just the experience of it that's always on. The feeling of speed is unmatched. And yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> they just don't break. <laughs> Just don't break these guys. Okay, I just passed like a spooky ghost through the fencing over there. Very convenient. This is the murderer guy that's passing me, no problems. So actually, yeah, I lowered the difficulty, but not enough, it seems. <laughs> They're still faster than me. <laughs> Even when I don't do mistakes. But actually, yeah, I don't know why they are so much faster.
so much faster. Uh, well, it was maybe a bit your fault, huh? This feels like something out of an old uh, Sega games, no? Virtua Racing was its name. There wasn't there. The second track was in a forest, if I know wrong. Now with modern graphic, it would be a bit like this. The car from Virtua Racing was basically, I think it was supposed to represent an Indy car, not a Formula One. But the idea is that, more or less. They just saw. Now here they break a bit too much if I will remember. Maybe I'll be able to catch up. No, they do it when uh, it's congested, but if there's only one guy, not as much. And, uh, yeah, and you, can you imagine? It's not even set to its higher setting. Actually, it's less than half. That's the amount of skill they they expect you to have in this game. It's even got a career single player mode, but it's very limited. And well, as you can tell by this, uh, the difficulty is hella high. Never completed it. We might actually switch to that later in the stream. But after this I try a multiplayer race again, maybe not on that Italian server. I want to annoy them further, but more than that I don't want to do the extra same thing. This sums up the experience of this game pretty nicely. Yeah, it's incredibly fun, but also incredibly difficult. It's actually... It wears you out after a while. Flying games I can do forever. This after a couple of hours I'm, I'm spent. <laughs> it's very difficult for me to do a driving game two days in a row. Probably I've never done it since I started streaming. It's probably more physically tiring, uh, at least for me, than Onward, the game that I do standing, the shooter. They should uh, driving games. So I just uh, I can do them half asleep now. <laughs> now maybe War Thunder not as much as the others. War Thunder takes concentration. Man. Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous. You risk falling asleep even if you're doing good. It's a game that is very relaxed. So that's what I fall down usually after a session like this. Consider it a bit of a spoiler for tomorrow. <laughs> No, good thing I have a driving game that works well. I mean, uh, Project Cars uh, is cool and all, but if it makes the stream freeze, uh, this is the one I'm gonna use uh, here on. This and Dirt. Dirt works better, also. If only more driving games came out that support the VR, it's so simple in principle to add to this kind of game. Now, what do you have to do in the end? Just make the camera movable with the head of the pilot. 
I obtained some good results, in fact, in driving games with the Vorpix application, the one that makes uh, any game VR compatible, no? And uh, if you combine the, the, the head movement to the mouse, uh, the app emulates the mouse, and yeah, in any case, even if it doesn't envelope you completely, meaning that you only have a, a curved screen in front of you, it will still um, magnify your head movement and give you a feel uh, of looking around. In any case, in a driving game, you're not looking around that much. Most of the time, you look straight ahead. So it's kind of worth it. It's kind of worth it. But then I get some criticism every time I try to stream by using that app, because apparently VR players dislike it in principle. I don't know why. Actually, in the first days of VR, it was uh, what gave me the most satisfaction with it. I used to play World of Tanks and uh, Warframe with my Oculus all the time. They were the games I was most uh, into at the time, and well, they're pretty darn good that way. It gives you some feeling of depth, but most of all it's like you're playing on a screen that uh, is huge, basically. It's like going from the floor to the ceiling. So it's still a better experience than any kind of monitor you might have. But well, maybe... I'm not the norm, I just love VR as a thing in general, so anything goes for me. Any way to experience it is good. Most of all what we are lacking in the VR space are games that you can play forever. The simulators are the only type, really. All the others are either short time experience or very, sh very shallow, they're like uh, evolution of Wii games, no? And well, in the end, how long can you play something like Beat Server? Some people seem to enjoy it. Hi Patrick, hey, YL2? No, today not. This is my second and last session. Tomorrow, uh, why not? You wanted to play with me? Do we play already? I don't remember your name, I don't think we have. Maybe I know you by your cold sign. No, now it's too late to switch to it, but tomorrow, with pleasure. You are available around this time. If you come around this time, I will be... I will still have some time to play with you. Why not? Tomorrow afternoon uh, I might go with Sturmark. Actually, yeah. That's what I was thinking for tomorrow afternoon. Such a cool game. Especially with friends, huh? Without friends, the problem with Sturmark is you end up in these servers where everyone speaks Russian. And, and even if there is one kind guy that translates for you, in the end, you will feel excluded for most conversation, and that's also tiresome. Okay, with pleasure. With pleasure, Patrick. Do you play War Thunder, maybe? If you play War Thunder, we might play War Thunder in the morning with you also. I mean, I'm still undecided on what to play tomorrow morning. War Thunder could work, I guess. Both, uh, both time slots... Uh, Sturmovic, not as much, I wouldn't do that. As you can see, it's an hella long track. Even with this fast car, three laps take forever to do. You play War Thunder, really? That's how it's on, man. We're constantly doing it, I bet you know if you've been watching the stream. You could join one of our squads, we, we could go together. These days, with Kart, we're doing great. You know he started to stream also. He started recently to stream on his page, which is named like uh, Rick Tofton, like the Red Baron. What beer? Any beer, really. Any beer. Any beer you prefer. And any nation, except for some. Well, in any case, they can be paired together. So if you go Axis, I'll pick Italy. If you go Allies, I'll pick US or Russia. Both will work. Hey, thank you, Steve. Steve, have we ever played together? You were telling me that you got VR because of me, and what you playing? You could come to War Thunder and play with us as well. You could make uh, a session with the three of us, uh, plus whoever else wants to join. <laughs> Would this race ever end, I wonder? So I absolutely don't know if I'm last. I could be, for what I know. I could be, we did have an accident after all. They were too fast in any case. Impossible to get. I 
I think this should conclude it. This is the finish line. No, another lap. No, session concluded. Okay. No, actually, I came 10th. In how many? Do you always end the middle of the pack even when raising AIs? 20? Well, could have been worse considering the accident. Okay, uh, exit this. And let's try multiplayer again. Apparently, I have to do it with the game itself. My beloved front end just doesn't work. At least it's not glitching this time. Okay, multiplayer. Huh? If I cannot find anything, we try another modded truck and car. I want to show you things that maybe you haven't seen. Uh, these guys are in a race. In a race? Can you filter this thing, maybe? By session type. Yeah, for instance, don't show me empty servers. Don't show me password protected servers. Booking mod, I don't know what it means. Ah, you're booking for the race, something like that. Okay. What do we have? This is 31, 32, but it's a track day. These are doing qualification, but they're full. Track day. Public service pad. They're racing. Racing, racing, practice. Still, sadly, we have never played together. I caught an uh, ED, Elite Dangerous stream of yours, and enjoyed your content. I'm an Xbox Lite. Uh, ah, really, man? Ah, I see. So you come from that. That's a game that works very well for streaming. People uh, enjoy watching it. I can see why. I can see why. It becomes the opportunity of seeing uh, maybe some system where you can make big money, no? By It's like uh, uh, scouting for information through the other people's experience. I can see where the interest comes from. And yeah, the most important thing, I think, if you're trying to show the game to people, is not to play alone, to find someone playing with you, because if you play alone, it ends up being a bit boring. This is good. They're doing qualification with the Porsche Cayman GT4. GT4. Sounds good. Let's go online again. I hope I don't <laughs> do anything embarrassing like last race. It happened in the last lap. The only thing I can say to my defense is that it happened to the last lap. Why doesn't he let me join, though? No. So I managed to keep concentration until almost the end. Then I, I did the team. Cannot join the server. No available slots. Ah. Well, at least he's telling me. Okay. Uh, practice, practice. They're going to qualify, but no race for some reason. Six people. They're trot and friends. Trot and friends with the tattoos. On Laguna Seca. Ah, Laguna Seca is a cool track. What is the Tatus do? I don't remember that car. Let me see, let me see. I hope I can join. Let's play with, the, with this guy and his friends. Seems like a friendly name of the server. He shouldn't be too angry, I believe. Trot. Trot is the name of the guy. Ah, it's uh, an open wheel car. Okay. Welcome to this Assetto Corsa server. This server is hosted by Elite Game Servers. This is our website. Happy racing, so no specific route. rules. I've been playing Elite Dangerous for almost 5,000 hours. Man, you beat me. Got my triple Elite. No, absolutely, I'm not at the rank. I saw you were hella good at it. 5,000 hours, man. That's a game that really, really gets you immersed. I didn't expect to play it uh, that much originally. It was quite a trip of discovery for me. The more I played, the more I loved it. And you should try it in VR. If you play on the Xbox, I guess you've never tried it in VR. It's incredible, man, in VR. It's a game that's amazing to play. You you really... It gives you almost a feel, uh, a feeling of... Uh, uh, of over to see the space where you are, the, the size of things. It's amazing. I cannot even find words in English, as you can tell. I could maybe explain it better in Italian. It's just an hella cool game to play in VR. It's no accident that it's probably one of the most popular. Okay, in 30 meals we're doing the race. This is perfect. Let's try to qualify in a decent way. Yeah? This time I will concentrate more. Maybe compared to my last session, there has been a slight improvement. If I keep doing racing games... And there's only another guy on the track. Eh? That's annoying. I guess that's Trot. <laughs> Since we're on Trot and, uh, Trot and Friends server, probably is Trot. But wait a minute, I saw there were like eight people here. Was I having uh, hallucinations? 
Maybe someone else will join during the qualification. I mean, when they see the race is almost starting. <laughs> Where is he going with Trot? Ah, he's behind me. I can see him on the map. Useful information right there. Let's see how long it takes for him to overtake me. Yeah? Probably not much, yeah, especially if I do the... I love Laguna Seca, though. It's... No, it's a cool track. It feels... Uh, very much like the kind of track you would have in a video game, with the verticality of it, uh, the big uh, corkscrew turn. Basically, we're racing this guy head to head. Let's see what happens. How many times will it take him for overtake me? If he takes a couple, I will feel already satisfied for my limitations as a driver. Here he comes, here he comes. <laughs> yeah, well, but I also take the wrong race line, so I'm making it easier for him. Let's see if I can catch him up again. Maybe I can learn something by following this guy around. He seems to know his shit, so to say. I think this is the open wheel car that was included with the game, one of the fastest ones. No, I went straight at the corkscrew. Okay, I'm out of the duel. But I mean, it's not a duel what I was looking for. Let's look for a different server. I wanted to go for a true race. I hope I can find one. The Tatus, that's a cool car to drive. Okay, it's glitching out again. I hate you. Why must you do this to me? And yeah, I'm gonna restart it. Well, good thing it doesn't take long, I guess. Actually, it takes very little. Racing requires muscle reflex, so practice is critical. I agree, Nix. I agree. Mm. Okay. Give me a server where the wackiness maybe can compensate for the mistakes. And main menu. That's also true. That's also true indeed. Well, but one can't be good at everything, no? I mean, unless you experiment, you're never going to learn. Clients. Fun sports. Sim Razor. Monza Tatus, qualification 25-26, also excellent ping, let's do it. It's Monza again, but I guess with the Tatus, combination of the two things we were doing up to now. The Tatus on Monza, sounds interesting. Let's see how long to the race. Welcome to the Fun Sport Sim Racer, on this server runs s Trigger T3.5. Six minutes to the race, it seems. No, but the race already started because the time is going up. Eh? No, it's qualification 10 minutes. And we have four minutes left. Be a fair driver. Okay, I will be. Oh, it seems I'm uh, not tangible at the moment. Good, good. So let's get out of the pits. Timing is mother the most. Probably, yeah. Uh, now with this car it will be harder, but not necessarily, maybe... I think this breaks well. Probably braking is what's most important when you come to the chickens. At least we already practiced on the track today. Should improve my performance a bit. So 10 minutes to the race, then probably the usual 5 to 7 laps. You know what I like about this car's model? That you have the hand of the driver tells you basically when to shift. When you see the, the hand reaching the shifter, then you actually do it. It's like a, an assist, basically, an aid that tells you what to do. So I like the display on the, on the wheel. Yeah, downshift protect on in action. You heard that beep, uh, it meant I was downshifting too much.
I wonder why it counts your laps for qualification. We only have six in total to, to, to attempt. Seems strange, it doesn't work like that. Usually it's based on time. Oh, well, I mean, maybe he didn't do it on purpose, but it seemed like it. Blue flag. What does the blue flag mean? I don't think it's a normal accident flag. But this uh, has much more grip. Well, of course, and down force than the Ferrari. 458 and shows the timing gift shifting gears is important yeah yeah it does now I think it's actually easier with this car eh? you have better grip you have better acceleration if you make mistakes the fact that you go faster doesn't matter as much uh, as the better handling you enjoy. It will be easier with this car. Maybe I'll do a bit better. Look at this. Uh, with the Ferrari I was going absolutely straight at this thing because you have to anticipate the braking here. The moment you press, you stop. And also it doesn't understeer as easily. Actually, it doesn't even let you downshift past the four gear at this uh, curve, which kind of su surprised me. Constantly, constantly. If this were real life, uh, I would have broken the car like five times in the first lap. That's how difficult it is. No, no, the thing I was peeing about opened my eyes when I saw that episode of the reality show. Uh, it's just something that happens. Even experienced driver break one engine or two while uh, learning the ropes on a new car. They factor it in, the racing teams. Oh, I mean, some problems, are we? Ooh, bye! <laughs> he shifted once. You can tell how many times he shifts. By by the flames uh, coming from the exhaust, no? <laughs> That's a good thing. We learn by following him. I'll do it. I'll follow him. We should have another five to six minutes of la of qualification and then race. The head is actually very limited. I think I already have disabled some functions. Well, he came faster than me, but. Yes, the car can take it. Okay, so next time I shift less. It's a damn shame that the front-end external to the game that I love so much is having some strange bug. I gotta look into that. Well, it's certainly easy. Hi, Theory. Hey, thank you for coming to the comments. I think we've never spoken before. So, thank you for calling me friends, I guess. The flame from the exhaust is much cooler from prop paint engine. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> I bet. There's a reason they called it the speed fire, isn't there? It actually was intended to... Oh, what's this guy doing? <laughs> These jokers. No, what was I saying? There will be a handful in the race. The Spitfire actually had the, its exhaust oriented backwards, not? Because it amounted for some horsepower in addition to the engine. The fact that it uh, had this, uh, the flames coming from the exhaust. But, but there it comes constantly. What's happening here? Ah, okay. Qualification over. Uh, did I qualify somehow? Good, good. We're doing the race. Uh, well, 19th. Because there are some people that did worse, if you can believe it.
<laughs> Maybe you cannot. I hope you can believe it. Hey man, I'm doing it on that server. Ah, really? You're raising theory? What's your name in game? Oh god, I hope I don't crash into you. Uh, what's your name? How did you qualify? You would certainly be better than me, I suck at this game. I probably shown it. Second last. Your second last, huh? Uh, Ganjolf. <laughs> That's a cool name, man. Ganjolf. Is that you? No, but second last, I mean, it's not like you're really second last if you're Ganjolf. It's just that you didn't complete a lap. It's the same. Thierry J. Sun lose him? Not there yet. Five minutes. Ah, okay, but uh, I tell you, the race is starting. You will have to wait the next race. If you want, sure. <laughs> I will be thoroughly humiliated. Ah, but we were practicing. Never mind. No, no. That was just the practice. Then join. You have nine minutes to join and qualify. But just the practice round. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Too calm. I hope I don't crash into you, like I said. Do you want to open Discord, by the way? Maybe it's more fun if we speak to one another. Uh, tell me, tell me, you want to come to Discord? I'll invite you to my Discord. I wonder if he got the question. Once I see his comment again, I'll ask once more because well with discord it's more fun if we're playing together we might as well speak to one another 10 minutes qualification okay okay i've got the time to do the rest <clears throat> i think you can do this in third or even fourth gear with this car You can certainly push it more. This is like night and day compared to the Ferrari. Hey, hello viewers, do follow our cool stream. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. <laughs> the future of gaming is VR, indeed, I agree, 100%. Can you tell Thierry that if he wants, he can join me on Discord, uh, tied to him? Because I was trying to tell him, but I don't think he got the question. Since he's coming to play with me, I mean, it's cooler if we speak to one another. Also for the viewers. You're amazing, Nix. You've been supportive uh, for so long with me. You know, guys, I, we met through streaming. I never met him before. Uh, we became friends through it. By playing War Thunder together, basically. So, who said that video games are for sad loners? Actually, it's a great way to make new friends. Especially if you stream, I must say. I've never been so social as I've become uh, ever since I started streaming. It's a great experience, really, in general. Sometimes uh, it's annoying when you have the, the haters that you're going to meet, uh, no matter what. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> Thank you, Kadia. You, you too. You too have been very supportive. But everyone who is here is helping me, I mean. Thanks to everyone. Just an hobby of mine. It's not like I earn anything for it. And when you're doing it, if you do it without an audience, it's... Uh, it becomes frustrating, as I well know, as I well know, because at first I had started on Twitch, but you guys certainly know about it, I've spoken about it many times, more for the new viewers than saying this, if you ever start streaming simulation games or VR games in general, come to Facebook, it's a much better environment for it, because you can push your contents to group, unlike Twitch, where unless you play one of the popular games, you're basically invisible, that's the truth of Twitch really. You need either a big name or to be doing whatever everyone else is doing. Otherwise, you will have absolutely no audience. I I've started with like uh, four weeks. Uh, I had uh, two viewers already. I felt like I was in heaven. It's the truth of things. Twitch is impossible. To start in 2020 with Twitch, uh, you absolutely have to... Uh, be supported on a different platform because Twitch uh, does a, a, p a very poor job uh, of advertising its content. It just, uh, it's a jungle basically. You either make it yourself or you get no app. I don't like Fortniteing. <laughs> uh, 
well, it depends. Uh, personally, no, I don't enjoy the game either. It's too chaotic. Also, I'm not very good at it. It doesn't help. Um, some streamers are incredibly good at it. It's a game that has an extremely high skill ceiling. If we had that game like that in VR, probably I'd be playing it from time to time. It's true, it's true, it's very popular. In fact, I, I'm sad that PUBG lost, because uh, PUBG was the better of the two, in my opinion. Much more coherent, but he lost in more ways than one, I mean, not just the number of players. The problem is that now PUBG is copying Fortnite, and that's bad in my opinion. It was originally the more competitive, most serious game. Now it does, uh, like Fortnite uh, seasons, uh, skins that you unlock, there's a constant push for climbing in ranks. It's no longer what it originally was, meaning a somewhat simpler, more closer to the roots of gaming kind of experience. It's just what people want, it seems. They want the chaos, they want the, the background noise. Rules of survival. Rules of survival, wait. Uh, I think... Ah, it's the one for the cell phones, isn't it? It's also on, on Android. I think I played it. You know where? I might have played it uh, on Switch. No, that was probably a different game. What's he bumping me into for? Another uh, four minutes to the race. Huh? We're having a race after this qualification round. Now, Rules of Survival is a different one. The one I played on the Switch, uh, I think is named uh, Knives Out. Is it possible? Not bad, not bad, but it's basically is a scaled-down version of PUBG. I'd rather play PUBG. I don't know about Rules of Survival. I think I saw it, I've seen it because a lot of people play it uh, on uh, Facebook streaming streamers' pages. And it seemed to be yeah, more or less like an in-between from PUBG and Fortnite, meaning that you also have the funny skins and costumes and all that. But the gameplay seems solid. But the gameplay is very solid in Fortnite as well. Just very complex, maybe even too much for someone that isn't extremely good at it. Gameplay is not lacking. What I dislike about Fortnite is the style. Uh, like I was reading uh, an article the other day. It's also in Android. Yeah, I thought as much. It looks like an Android game. Not bad. Not bad in principle. I haven't played much. If you don't care for the um, cosmetics, you can just play it like it is PUBG, and for me it's good. Uh, now, what I was going to say... I don't remember anymore. Ah, yeah, the style of Fortnite. Uh, PUBG is on mobile too, yeah, I'm very popular. I think it's more popular on mobile than PC these days. Originally, it was the more played game on Steam for, like, years. Then it changed. Now it's not one of the more popular anymore. Well, no, actually, it's still in the top five, I think. Me too, me too, because it doesn't fit, no? That's the thing one tends to think. I mean, it's a game that originally was meant to be a co-op uh, experience against zombies, where building a base makes sense. To build it during a battle royale, well, it's strange. Myself, I hated it from the get-go, but when you see skilled people utilizing the building in combat, yeah, what the fuck, this guy? He did it on purpose, 100%. When you start, to do the building in combat, if you're really good, uh, the ending battle becomes very interesting among in between the skilled players. What you have is this uh, kind of confrontation where everyone is trying to build an higher tower and elevation becomes the factor that gives you victory, like the kind of materials you stockpile. It's very cool because when you think about it, the entire build up of the previous experience of the match comes to that single moment, meaning that which weapons you kept, how many materials, uh, and all the good stuff converged that, to that single point where two incredibly, or at least uh, quite skilled players compete against each other. It's cool to watch, if they're good, if they are. If you're just randomly playing it from time to time, yeah, I agree. The building is annoying. I don't like Fortnite, too much fantasy. Everyone plays because it's free like Minecraft. I prefer sim racing and Motherfield 5 style games. Yeah, I would say I tend to agree. Uh, I don't think uh, Minecraft is free, as it become free recently, but for the rest I agree wholeheartedly. Uh, Fortnite, no, as I said, what I dislike is the style. They say it's so open, it allows for all kinds of scenarios, like uh, one day you have the, um, the superheroes, another day you have the spies. How cool! Well, to me it's not so cool, I mean, because it makes it all muddled together. 
there is like a storyline I think but it's extremely silly and you have no coherence of the setting anything goes basically you have science fiction with fantasy time travel everything mixed together it's like they don't stick with one single idea and the guy went just straight but do everything at once it's a bit of a problem that also Battlefield 5 had compared to the previous Battlefields where it's a bit more realistic but that's of course miles from what you see in Fortnite Fortnite is anything goes Ah, Theory, by the way, you want to come to Discord if you're racing on the server with me? We can open Discord, I can invite you, I was saying that earlier. For a game, Fortnite has its own quality. Well, it has some qualities. First, it runs much better than, for, uh, than PUBG, despite the graphic being more complex at times, it runs much better. And I'm speaking about reaching actually frame cap, because when you do an FPS in a competitive way, you absolutely need to reach the frame cap of your monitor. Uh, but not my cup of tea. What is this called? Okay, I'll send it to you. Wait, this might be you. I'll send it to you. Right now, the race is starting in any case. And yeah, this called. So, is this. We're doing probably one race and a little more before I have to end. But the race we will do together while speaking to one another. I hope I don't crash into you. <laughs> Don't use, don't use, don't use. What is happening today with my virtual desktop? Nothing what seems to work well. Okay. Like this. Then not push to talk, of course, because it wouldn't work in a driving game. Poison video. Check, check. Okay. We will use my Discord. This one on the, well, I don't know, <laughs> the War Thunder channel, I gotta do a general channel. So, invite, no, not this. Invite, copy, I'll paste it on the streams comment. Cody, wasn't really a Minecraft either, I mean, I liked how there was a hidden cave underground and didn't rule, so that's about it. I'm too impatient for games like that. Well, it's certainly kind of grindy. When you start gathering materials, it takes forever. Ah, okay. Well, I posted a link nonetheless, if you want to come. <laughs> no, but what do you mean you don't have it? I thought you said you had it. Ah, okay. Well, you can come, I guess. So, is the race starting or what? Why is the race not starting? It's out of time. Uh, well, I guess you can come, but you will just hear the audio twice. <laughs> Makes no sense, really, if you're not using this kind of microphone. It was just to speak to one another, face to face, so to say. We'll do it. We'll do it. I bet. I mean, where is the race? Good question. It should start. I'm 19th in any case. I'm not starting last. So there was an improvement of sorts. Oh, come on. We're starting. No. But it's like the, the wheel wasn't calibrated. I don't know. Well, let's hope it doesn't tap it. So, you you in, uh, Thierry? Didn't lose the start. Are you in? Uh? You told me your name is Thierry in game as well. But my anti-social skill will kick in. <laughs> okay, no worry, no worry. It isn't needed to speak with this uh, with the uh, with the streamer. <laughs> it's uh, not mandatory. Lorenzo Zigio, that's another Italian right there. I don't see you in race, to tell you the truth, Thierry. Did you manage to get in? You're searching for server? Eh, I think you're late. The race is starting now. You won't be able to participate. We're starting right now. Strange. Ah, I should have told you the server. And eh, now you're no longer. You don't have time. We're racing. ready. Timing is everything, like Nick said. One, two, three, and... Go! What a shitty start. Okay. Already, <laughs> it's I don't have even started, he crashed into me. I think that guy started before the green, huh? I think he started before the green. TV. <coughs> okay, well, let's be careful here. It's gonna be dangerous. 
Whoa, make way! <laughs> make way! Thirteenth. I already gained positions. Let's keep doing it to the end of the race. I hope, I hope. Here's the second chicane. At least this I learned by now where the chicanes are. <clears throat> but you know, I have no problems braking for the chicanes with this car. The problem was that the brakes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the brakes on the Ferrari kinda sucked, to tell you the truth. That's what made me make mistakes in that race. The brakes weren't up to the task of stopping the car, actually. What the fuck? I was almost on tarmac. Okay. I think the car is broken, though. Yeah, they broke my car. Monza Tadus, uh, yeah. They broke my car, though. The guy that crashed into me, we had damage here, and now it's going a bit uh, sideways, so to speak. <laughs> and we still have to do six laps like this. I guess I can go to the pits. What can I do? Uh, it would be because of that stupid guy that did the chain accident. I think I'll have to, to have the car fixed, but then I'll be racing only with the other people that uh, had the accident. Through the entire race like this, I don't know if it's a bit strange, to tell you the truth. It's very typical. I was off to a good start, too. Maybe the server is full and you can't see it. That's a good suggestion, Michele. Thank you. Oh, grazie. Se sei italiano, credo di sì. Benvenuto sul canale e grazie per il commento. Let's fix the car. Others are doing as well. Well, actually, there's like uh, half the race is here. <laughs> Where do I go? Where is my pit? This one? I wish I knew the speed limit for this price. Yeah. So? I'm not getting repaired? Or was I repaired already? I think so, actually. No. What the fuck? No. I had to book the stop or something. I had to tell that I was coming in. No. Ah, uh, from here you do it. Damn it. Uh, so next lap, I guess. I will lose even more time, though. What I can do the entire race like this? I mean, it's not impossible. It's just that the steering is a bit to the right, but for the rest it seems to be working. We've done worse thing in War Thunder. <laughs> Like uh, this morning, I, I flew the entire span of the English Channel with a broken engine in my zero. Yeah, in my zero, because of course history is a bit... Uh, it's not mandatory either in that game. You found the server? That's amazing, man. It won't be a long race, you know. You might be able to do another. Not sure, though. I mean, with the time I have left. Maybe we will do some practice laps together, at least. Try to go get in when I have a slot, okay. It's only six laps. You might be able to. You will wait, okay. Ah, you play in VR? Which system, which VR you have? Oculus, I think you taught me. Am I wrong? Tell you what, I'll go to the pizza again. Most of all, because I want to understand how it's done for the next serious race we're gonna have. Oculus. Ah, Oculus is good. I love it. So, slow down, and I think you do with the key, the keyword Add did as compound, like this, repair, but really I have to do this. No, don't change the wheels, the wheels are okay. 
cockpit. Yeah, this time he's repairing the car. It takes his time. No worries, it's not like we're racing right now. The CV1. Ah, the one I still have. Uh, this is the server uh, with uh, Monza, we're raising the Tatus. Tatus on Monza, I don't know the name of the server though. Ah, thank you, Thierry, yeah, it's that one. Ah, you guys want to, to play together? We can do it. Well, I don't know where the crew is. <laughs> yeah, apparently there's spooky ghosts as well, because they fixed the car. Yeah, this time they fixed it well. I mean, I see 13. In six laps, you can go to the pits and have your car repair, still be 13. Probably because everyone else fucking died in that crazy accident. At least we have now, together with other cars. No, but guys, really, if you play this game together, let's make an habit of this. We could do like the War Thunder uh, sessions I have in the morning. We meet every day, same time, and we all race together. Wouldn't that be cool? For the viewers, but not only, I think we would be having a blast. With Discord and all, speaking to one another. Just a suggestion, eh? so to speak. Something for the future. Tighty, you get a slot. Okay, guys. Now, I will tell you in advance, though. I have another 4 15 minutes of streaming. After this race, I won't be able to do another. We can only maybe do the race and qualification together. I tell you before you waste too much time on this. In 15 minutes, I have to go, really. This is when I end my stream usually. So we're finishing this race and then maybe do some laps. But why don't we go do it on a different server also if it's easier to join, I guess. Whatever you want. If you want to join a server that has uh, free slots, uh, tell me and after the race I'll come there. I'll come there myself. If you find any cool server, I'd be glad to. I'm enjoying to race on this track with the Tatus much more than the Ferrari, to tell you the truth. This is an easier to drive and more satisfying car, at least for me. Probably if you have the skills to keep that Ferrari on the track, it's the opposite way around. Or at least they even out. Like this, uh, fairly cool. Fourth lap. Car is okay. I'm starting to think that maybe I should have gone into the setup for the Ferrari previously. Eh? Because it was crazy how little that blasted car brake for the chicanes. I was sure I was braking on time, but wow. It took high ages. Maybe I have the brakes pressure set too low. Seems possible. I mean, look at this. I, even if I did it, yeah. Of course, uh, I was really too late. Now it's past me, but I'm still 13th. No, I'm actually 12th. What is this? <laughs> I got past, but I gained one position. Actually gaining other positions, I guess people are disconnecting. And are they disconnecting ahead of me? What is this? These are probably the guys that didn't stop at the pit stops because they didn't get involved in the big accident. This is dangerous, huh? Let's hope it doesn't happen again like previous race. Was the same curve even? No, it was not chicane that I did the mistake and bumped him. That's being <laughs> insulted to hell and back, but deserved it so, huh? Another two laps. I'm actually tent now, if you can believe it. Probably someone crashed, I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm racing with this guy. He's actually one lap ahead. He, he didn't have to do the pit stop. I'm currently hosting uh, two servers with 90s F1 from a serve formula. I prepared a weekly track rotation and there's a dedicated Discord channel. Download section for cars, trucks and all. That's, that's very cool, man. Thank you. You mean I can download the cars from it? Eh? Formula 1 cars? I, I don't have them, probably. I have some Formula 1. Ah, no, the 90s. Yeah, probably the 90s I do have. I do have them. Wasn't I using them previously on the German track? I think so. Must be these cars. The ones that are free to download, yeah. Well, okay. That's interesting, man. Certainly for the next time I stream, because uh, now it would be a bit late to do it. For the next time I stream this game, I mean. So, you, you actually have a community built around it. That's cool. I was just looking for a community to play racing games with. I found one, which I participated in uh, for a while, but actually it was for the rally game, so... Yeah, it's not like in rally you have much uh, uh, synchronized uh, gameplay with others, so to speak. You just compare times. In this it would be much more interesting. No, I don't want to be overtaken by this guy as well. Do feel free to join our Discord then. See ya. With pleasure, man. Thank you. See you soon. Oh, you really, <laughs> you really like uh, the draft, eh? <laughs> He's really following me right now. What a cool game. Difficult, but what a cool game, really. Okay, didn't overtake me on the chicane. Still tent. Ah, I think it, it ends. At a certain point it ends after the first guys arrive. Well, okay, considering the accident, at least we came tent. The accident wasn't really my fault. Uh, this time, not at all. Absolutely. I got 30 points for that. Server PB. 0202 by Zarlor. Lorenzo, you're a fucking idiot. Fan culo. Idiot. Ah, so the insults are fairly normal, I see. Actually, still from an Italian guy to an Italian guy. <laughs> They're a bit vulgar in their method of expression. Bello, come provo setup missing ready, ma fanno più cagare del mio. I finished the lap, the race one laps behind. Thanks, I saw you coming back after the first corner on the last. We're in qualification now, Thierry. Uh, can you join? Maybe you can join. Let's join that Discord in the meantime. Sounded interesting. The one that Michele kindly sent me. Because if I don't do it now, I'll end up forgetting about it. I think I just put it in a... Yeah, like this. Open Wheels Historic. <laughs> what is this? Riccardo Patrese drives wife crazy. Ah, I seen this video, yeah. This is a funny video. It's a... Yeah, 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 I remember this. <laughs> uh, that, this, uh, this is the wife of the guy. He's a rally driver that he brings for... No, not rally, I think. It's actually racing on a truck. And she gets scared like crazy. She's speaking Italian, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> She's telling me, no, but this car isn't a Formula One. It doesn't grip the road like a Formula One. Don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> and she gets scared more and more. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not so good acting, I think. No, please, Ricardo, stop. Yeah. It's a typical kind of YouTube video, really. Already I can see I will like this disc. And, well, okay. So, uh, since you guys didn't join the race, well, I guess at this point, uh, uh, for 10 minutes, I best disconnect. We even have the final laugh. We even have it. 
Okay. Well, well, as I said, difficult but fun. In the end, I came middle of the pack. Middle of the pack despite the accident. I will consider this the final result of the stream. Has there been an improvement? Well, if I consider the first and the last race of the stream, yes. Because the first race I actually crashed into a guy that got angry and the last time it was a guy that crashed into me. But have you seen it? Did I get angry? No, because I'm not an angry person myself. <laughs> <laughs> I just aggressive when I play the flying games. So if you do enjoy flying games, be sure to follow my stream. That's what I usually play. And if you enjoy diving games, well, follow it nonetheless, because from time to time I will also play diving games, especially if I find, find some friends to do it with. Probably next time I do the resin, it will be with the Rally 1, Dirt 2.0, which is also incredible in VR. And tomorrow morning, well, I'm not so sure yet. I will either go Elite Dangerous or War Thunder. So I'll be using the joystick instead, which is here on my setup. And that's it, I guess, for today. Thank you for being with me. I certainly enjoyed your presence. I hope it was the same for you. See you tomorrow if you would want to stick, with, stick around. Ciao from Italy. Bye-bye.